Hello, Poncho fam. It's me, your host, Poncho Libre. And I want to say welcome to Poncho Studios. And today is going to be kind of a goofy review. So, um, and I want to say that uh, don't forget to miss or don't miss all, um, my new segment that I just started, Dip Into Saucy Saturdays. It's where we uh, review, we're, well, <laughs> I review um, dips, hot sauces, and salsas. Different ones, so you guys know which ones to get and which ones not to get. And also, I'm going to attempt a new segment called Toy Photography Tuesdays. Yeah, I believe it'll be on Tuesdays. I'm going to try toy, toy photography. Take a couple. What toy photography is, I'm going to go into it real quick. Quick rundown is that I go, I take pictures of action figures other in a diorama or outside in nature. So, be, be on the lookout for that. I don't know when it's going to start, so I'll let you guys know. Moving into the review today. Here we go in three, two, one. Hey, today we are reviewing a box of. Okay, I can't. I can't say it, Pancho Fab. It's it's an action figure, but it looks like a box of cereal. If you've never seen this box of cereal, it's Frankenberry, and there's other ones that come out. There's like Boo Berry and uh, Count Chocula. There's three of them or whatever. And they go on adventures and stuff, and they, they're they cereals. This looks like an actual cereal box if you look at it. I don't know if I said that right. Cereal, cereal. Boo, I've never been able to say that. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, it says Frankenberry on it. Comes with an action figure. And choking hazard. Some more stuff here. Going to this side profile. Here is Frankenberry, uh, and uh, some of the action figure stuff. What you're gonna see back a little bit of bio and comic book art and other things. On the other side, some more of the action figure stuff and more comic book stuff. Action figure. And moving to the bottom, here you have, uh, don't mind that, that's gross, uh, here we have a barcode, some legalese, number to call, if you don't agree with them, it's called Jade Company, from the front, Monster Cereal, and here we go. Opening it up, and you have a nice, cool photo of uh, Frankenberry himself. And here's a nice, good window of what he looks like and what's going on in there. All right, let's open this bad boy up to show you what's going on. And here we go in three, two, one. Here we are, Pancho Fab. We have Frankenberry himself all out of his plastic uh, containment unit here. And look at this cool insert. You can make it like a, you know, diorama piece or something. It comes. It looks like there's like the, the three different cereals there. Uh, Maybe Booberry. I am not 100% sure. Anyway, let's get back into this review shall we let's look at the character and here we go we're looking at the character of Frankenberry you can see the nice detail in the eyes the there's a little bit of paint smudge right there and something on his nose uh, his mouth the chains all the uh, detail that goes into this figure his feet, his belly. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, forgive me, guys. 
Got to put them back together here and back in there. That just pops right back on. Um, now, moving to the back, you can see there's like a dung bell that goes up into the skull there. Uh, more chains for the uh, for his outfit there. And going, let's move into the articulation. We are moving into the feet, which we normally start. Now, the feet can go back about that far, or well, you know, we're moving the feet back about that far. We can point Mega down and paint them back up. The feet can rock, have rocker. Go up about that far. Okay, moving to the uh, pin knees, double pin. Oh, okay, that's happened twice. Uh, just let you know, people, he has a drop down. Uh, spoiler alert, he has a drop down hip. I'm going to go to this side because that side keeps popping out. He has a double pinned knee. He can kick his uh, Frankenberry butt and it can bend all the way. Look at that. Moving up, he has a upper thigh swiffle or rotation, whatever you want to call it. It can go back and that leg popped off. <laughs> wow. Uh, you can go back that far. Go up that far, and he can hit the splits. <laughs> he has a waist rotation, no crunch. That's fine for a figure like this. Moving to the arms, there's no butterfly joints. That's okay. He can hit T pose. He can go all the way around, unhit the T pose. He has a single jointed arm, goes rotates in and out, uh, and it looks like the wrist peg moves and it goes up and down like this, not like this, but like this. Moving to the head, you can look down about that far, mega up, you can uh, Rotate all the way around that way, all the way that way, go all the way around. Let's tilt, tilt. Okay, now getting into the accessories of the figure. Uh, come on, buddy. Ah, oh, those legs. Oh, my goodness. I just thought this was a fun character because, you know. Anyway, getting him to stand. Whoa, whoa, all right. Going into the accessories, he only comes with a couple of them. He comes with a screaming head. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, a screaming head. And of course, he would come with a 112 scale box of cereal of Frank and Barry. Look at this thing. This is amazing. I mean,. What else can you have, you know, there's, it even says cut out mask. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. So I'm very excited about this. This figure is very funny, very comical. I like it. Moving into the size comparison. Uh, moving from a goofy to a very serious, serious character. Uh, Batman Flash Point. Uh, Todd uh, McFarlane toys DC Multiverse Flashpoint Batman Thomas Wayne and moving with another serious character Batman Moth X Hush here we have uh, Frankenberry he is shorter than the both Batmans but he has a bigger noggin Removing them. Moving to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Last Ronin. A serious character here. 
But which is funny because, uh, you know, they're they're kind of the same size, but um, Frankenberry has a bigger noggin. He has the bigger noggin. All right, moving to Articulated Icons Ninja, who is shorter than the Frankenberry, but like again. Frankenberry has a bigger noggin. Look at that noggin, man. He could probably knock some people out if he headbutted some people. And we have your G.I. Joe classified the Duke. Well, Duke, not the Duke. I'm going to have to fix his legs, boil him in some water or something. He's kind of sticking lately. And um, can't have Duke without the Cobra Commander here. Cobra! And moving these two. Boom. They're also from Hat. They're from Hasbro. And we have Super 7's Ultimate Yellow Ranger. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? You can make him into a Power Ranger, you know, monster to fight. That would actually be that would these two would actually be a really good matchup because you could you can kind of fudge him into the Power Power Ranger universe a little bit. So if you're looking for you know crossovers or whatever, boom boom right there. And we have Star Wars Stormtrooper George Lucas disguised in Stormtrooper armor. Hasbro, another Hasbro. And that is it for this. Uh, sorry, my nose is itching, guys. That is it for this review. And please, please, like I say in every video, take care of your mental health. Do whatever you have to do. If it, go to church, you know, pray, go on a walk, go see a movie, paint your nails. I don't know what you guys do, but you do something to help your, your health, you know, your mental health. Your mental health is very important. Read a book, do a puzzle, something that's going to help relax you or take care of your mental health. All right, guys. See you in the next review. Poncho signing out. Bye. <whistles>